Hey, what's up? Starman Bandit here. As you guys all know, there is a Nintendo Direct dropping tomorrow. It's going to be almost an hour of full Nintendo Direct content. Games for the first part of 2021. I woke up, I saw it on Twitter this morning. I was hype. So this video is going to be about... I can't even talk. This video is going to be about predictions, uh, what I'd like to see, what they're probably going to talk about uh well let's just go ahead and get into the shit okay so as we all know mario anniversary has just ended and zelda 35th anniversary has just begun um obviously they're going to do something for the zelda 35th anniversary for this nintendo direct if they didn't that would be crazy i don't think that they would be saving it for a separate thing they're just going to throw it all in there right so what i think they would do for that they would probably make a um a switch special edition and throw some games in there along with it like maybe you know 3d collection or 2d collection but i think if they did do a 2d or 3d collection um they might be wary of doing that because if they put all of the 2d games and 3d games on one cart then people wouldn't really buy them in the future right so because they'd be limiting their own sales for the future by having them all on one cart so i don't know too much about that one what I am hoping for is Breath of the Wild 2 news. That would be, um, that would make my heart sore. I would be very, very, uh, happy and joyful about that. Uh, a trailer, release date, release window, anything, anything, anything. It's been 84 years since we last heard anything about Breath of the Wild 2. And that was the last direct way back in June of 2019, I believe. So yeah, that would be nice. Next up is the Pokemon anniversary. I think Pokemon's having an anniversary this year too, right? 25th, if I remember correctly. For that, I think maybe they're doing going to be a possible Gen 4 announcement or teaser of some kind, which would be amazing. Hopefully they can, I guess, do better than the Sword and Shield thing they got going on um you know maybe just make it like uh, sun and moon like that that was sun and moon in my opinion is better than sword and shield i haven't even finished sword and shield so anyway yeah pokemon possible pokemon announcement next up these are things that aren't really super popular but i love them myself rune factory 5 rune factory 5 um last time we heard about that was the 2019 direct two i think but i was hyped when they announced that i think it's on my channel somewhere for the last direct rune factory 5 a uh, harvest moon uh olive town that too i'd like to see more of that monster hunter rise i think we've seen enough of that shin megami tensei shin megami tensei uh, you know, that whole thing going on, that's probably going to be announced as well. It's not really my cup of tea, but, you know, a lot of people like it, so that's probably going to be something they show as well. For the next one, I think probably some kind of Square announcement. Either something that has to do with The World Ends With You, the sequel, or uh, just a new IP in general, or maybe a port of some kind something like that but definitely i know square Enix is probably going to be there because you know they're why wouldn't they and then smash it says on the direct thumbnail itself that there's going to be some kind of smash bros announcement probably a fighter um maybe a fighter either a fighter or maybe like a teaser for something but um what i'd like to see for the next fighter is and Ace Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright would be sick. That would be really. That actually would be really hype. That would be really hype. The next one I'd like to see is pro possibly Eggman. Eggman, there's no Sonic villain in um in Smash Bros. I think Eggman would be a good fit. He's got he's probably got some cool moves. He can like throw out some robots and go around in his little egg egg thing his final smash could be like the egg destroyer or like egg uh base that he's got going on another one that i like to see is um a champion from breath of the wild i think that would be a 
uh, welcome, 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 welcome addition to Smash Ultimate. I know uh, a lot of people have been asking for that too. So like maybe, I don't know, Mifa or Urbosa. I think Urbosa would be cool. Uh, Daruk? I don't know about Daruk and I don't know about Ravioli either. But I think definitely Mifa or Urbosa would be sick. Um... Next one for Smash, I am going to say Hunter from Monster Hunter. I know people have been saying, oh, how would they even how would they even do that? But bro, like if they really it's obvious they put they put Steve in Smash, dude. Come on now. They can do anything they want at this point. So Hunter should not be that far off for the range of possibility. They could do their weapons similar to I would say Byleth. Because you have the, I guess, the short sword, the sword, or the sword and shield, the long sword, the the great sword, um, the the bow, you know, all the, all the weapons that Hunter uses, and they can make a lot of, a lot of different skins and everything like they did with Minecraft Steve. So, if you wanted like to be a chick, you could be a chick. If you wanted to be a dude, you could be a dude. If you wanted to be a black dude, you could be a black dude. All all that stuff. So I think Hunter would be a cool addition because they have Rathalos in the game already. <clears throat> Next, I would say something Splatoon related. Something Splatoon related for sure. Now, I don't know if that would be, uh, it's definitely not going to be another DLC. Because, or maybe it could, it could be, but I don't think it will be. We haven't heard anything about Splatoon in a long time. I think probably, what, a year or so? Two years? For the last thing that uh, they dropped, it was a Octo expansion. But maybe, like, either uh, an another expansion... DLC or a spin-off maybe I don't know like a platformer maybe a platformer maybe like a an action adventure something other than a shooter um or maybe even a sim I think a sim with Splatoon would have a lot of potential because I remember that in the first game they when the loading screen booted up you were like they sh they showed your room or whatever your or your like a little apartment you had I think uh like um a sim would be cool maybe similar to like animal crossing or something like that just like expand what you can do in splatoon instead of just like you know doing battles and um salmon run and all that stuff i would like to see that personally um i think that's just about it i don't really have anything else that i would say really so i mean hmm Nope, that's really all I can think of. So, if I think of anything else, I'll add it to the video. Ah, okay. So, I forgot some things. I'd also like to see, um, I guess, some more indie games. Like, some more actual, not some higher quality indie games. I know that Yuppie Psycho was supposed to be coming to the Switch a long, long time ago. And nothing has come of it. So, I would like to see something about that. Um, let's see. There's also, I guess, Fantasy Star Online. I don't know if they're gonna bring that over to the u.s um eShop or not um uh, i think there were some mmos that were supposed to be coming over but they haven't yet i don't know if they just haven't figured it out or they're if they're on the japanese eShop instead of the u.s eShop or or whatever is going on with that um there's also re legend that also is supposed to be releasing on Switch, and it is. We haven't heard anything about that either. It's kind of similar to, I guess, what you would say, I guess, Harvest Moon, um, as well as Rune Factory 5. But it's kind of like a got a monster rancher thing going on. You can catch monsters, you know, raise them, have them help you with your crops, fight, all that cool stuff, just like Rune Factory 5. Um, you know? Uh, yeah, anyway, so that's probably really it right there, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be streaming the event when, well, tomorrow, obviously, when it goes live on this channel right here, uh, and it's going to be cool. Come through, have fun. We'll obviously be reacting to it. I, I'll try not to talk over it too much, but you know, if, if I do, if I will, and I am.
because it's hype. It's been a long 530 days till the last or the, from the last direct. It's yeah. Anyway, so um yeah, that's it. That's just about it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and peace out and finish getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe today to join the Star Squad. Peace. Oh yeah, definitely something to do with Kirby too, for sure. She got that megalo vibe. They said I wouldn't be shit. I never believed them. Now they want to show me love. Tell them they could keep it. I'm trying to get rich. So please buy my CD so I could put hentai stickers on my Lamborghini. Trying to put hentai stickers on my Lamborghini. Hentai stickers on my fucking Lamborghini.